scanning. <laughs> I've been scanning all afternoon. <laughs> he hasn't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, so you're not straight, are you? No, I'm not. I know, that's why I'm drawn to you. I've got so many gay husbands. Each other. Each other. Not if you're Mormon, I think they're okay with that. How are you feeling about this? Like, what's your type? Literally any female that hates buttons. Well, if there's a certain type that I've dated in the past, it would yeah. be 100% you. You. <laughs> 100% <laughs> you. I like how you looked at your boobs there. No, no, no. no. <laughs> so, what'd you get up to in Walmart? Beach. Beach? Yeah. Sunbathe at the yeah. beach. Yeah, you are pretty brown. Yeah, I take my tanning very seriously. Do you? Mm. That's very nice. And so, like, do you like adventure? What, like, mm. what would you like to do when you're not tanning? Um, I just like. Oh my god! Taking pictures. <laughs> well, you two are really uh, connecting. So, what's your like type? What do you go for? My yeah. type. Oh, um, I've, I guess I've been with more like blondes than really? yeah. yeah. Um, awkward. And more like yeah. What what else? Did you, did you so like floundering? Okay, this girl has no flow whatsoever. I'm looking for someone with a heavy flow. Never say heavy flow talking about a woman. How nice is that? Yeah, it's all right. I'd probably give it like a seven out of ten. Okay, what would you give yourself? I was having this conversation the other day. Right. I did give myself a seven. Okay. Like with clothes on. Okay. I gave myself a, a ten with clothes on. What? I'll let you use your imagination. Oh, so you think you've got a big dick? Or you know you've got a big dick? I know I've got a big dick. What? Right. Didn't leave. Didn't I have. thought about it, but the, the window, the toilet was a bit stiff, so I couldn't... Couldn't use the door? I was trying to just get the... I didn't want to make you feel bad when I walked straight past you. Hi, oh, thank you. I would love to order, now, something simple, ice cream. Yeah. But do you have different toppings or flavours? Mm, you can put a flake in it, a vanilla ice cream with a flake. Just a flake? Yeah. Have you got hundreds of thousands of raspberry ripple? Oh, God, he thinks he's Mr Whippy now. No, sorry, we just have a flake. Just a flake, yeah. you do. Although, they call it a 99 in Manchester and it costs you £2.50. Yeah, hey. and what do you want? I want something really sweet. Yeah. Um, sorry, we're, we're flirting. So you've got a tattoo there. What's it say? Can I... Can I... Grope you? Wow. Says, oh, let me see if it's real. It's real. That's amazing. It says love. It's like you're really desperate for love, or do you just think it's not like the word sense? desperate? You've been in Manchester before. Come with me. It's good. Manchester is amazing. It is so cool because you have all these different districts. So within five minutes, because it's a small city, if you don't like Canal Street, you can go to Spinning Fields. If you don't like Spinning Fields, you can go to the Northern Quarter. Mm. So here, I've got so here. much to do this week. I've got to write my guest list for Fashion Week. I've got to book my flights to Miami. I've got to nip to the supermarket and need to empty the bins. What makes this this? Like, oh like why are you God. saying, like, you know? No, like, I don't know how to... Like, I'm not going to ask you, like, I, I want, where is your heritage? Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I'm half Irish and half Jamaican. Like Northern Ireland or Ireland? OK, so, so my granddad's side is from the Republic. Yes. And my granddad was one of 17. You're 17 granddads? No. <laughs> hypothetically speaking, after marriage and, you know, for that. I mean, hypothetically speaking, <laughs> we could make great babies. Could make great babies. Which would have 17 great granddads. I would kind of like to know if, if you would like to go on a second date, I guess. Oh, that's not a good oh. Okay, could, so could, I've had could, the best time. Like, such a lovely that. time. Uh-huh. I really have. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel awful. I mean, you could just say it. Oh, just say it. It's all fine. No, do you know what it is? And you really remind me of my brother. Oh no. You've changed your whole image with that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that makes a massive difference. Goodness. I'm really massively into it. Yeah. Yeah, I Let's actually do am. Don't lie to me now, because like you said, we've just become BFFs, so... No, oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think you look fit in that hat, and honestly, I don't say that a lot, you look fit. Because my heart's like... Is it? Palpitations right now. What's your dick doing? Oh. No, I'm joking, that's weird. <laughs> Alec! Hey! Can we sit here? Of course, come oh, on. Do you want to be doing you beautiful specimens? Ah, All right. How's your date going, guys? Pretty awesome, to be fair. She's good crap. Cute. Yeah, she is. Oh, I think he likes her. Not many people get that. I get it. Do you want to have it. a kiss? Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, you smell lovely. <laughs> I think she's falling for him. If you're a real man, you'll take a bite out of this. 
massive bike. A little bit sour, is it, mate? Can you see what else you'll do? Oh, here we go. Really? What about the branch? No. The end bit. Like like trying to get middle. back in the date mode. This is like Bear Grylls does Cavos. Fight him off. Why I'll not? do it. Fuck it. What is in that cider? I've got fake teeth. Yeah, because real teeth can get through bark. <laughs> what are you, a fucking beaver? She's a very beautiful, like a woman. Woman looks beautiful. And you look like you're already lost in the biggest dick fog since the movie Dick Fog 3 Return of the Dick Fog. I'm very comfortable in my body. Hey, listen, I would be. Well, I'm very nice, babe. So do I. Stop showing off. I wanted to wear this dress, but you can see my nipple spirit, and I thought, um, probably a bit too much. This is definitely a trap. Don't fall for it, mate. I'm really excited to be double dating with Sam. I mean, Sam got a little bit of a bromance. We just kind of, we just get each other. E Dog does know they're not dating each other, right? Like, I don't know. I'm passionate about life in general and meeting different people from different walks of life and different cultures and just really like motivating and inspiring people. That guy speaks a lot of sense. What? Do you know what? If Lauren don't want him, I'll have him. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, you're not. I love nature. I'm a big nature lover. Uh, and, I have a dog as well. and I was going to say, we dogs. need to take our dogs out together. Oh, mate, we need, a we doggy need day. to. We doggy need to. Doggy, 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 doggy day. Doggy day. There we go. Doggy we do. Day. Did Sam just invite you our dog in? So, what's your kind of date, Vivian? If I didn't know someone, I would just do drinks at a bar yeah. because I think food's a lot of pressure. And then if I was going on a date with someone that, like, say, like, was a friend of a friend, I already kind of knew them. I kind of like to do something a bit more interesting, like, you know, yeah, like, go Lucky active. Stars, go bowl, do something that's a I think bit first more first date, like, do yeah. this kind of thing. Yeah. Like, and then second yeah. date, yeah. if you like someone, do something more, like, adventurous. That's what I do. That's just what I just said. Sure, like, type, if you had, if you had to put a type on paper. Chloe. Oh, that's so cute. So can I ask that question to you? What kind of a guy do you go for? I, I don't go, I haven't really got a type. It's more about a feeling. And do you, like, Feel like a connection now. Straight in there. I'm just trying to suss out whether to ask you on a second date or to just not. Has this geezer got a cab waiting or something? Gotta go with that, haven't you? The date's gonna end soon, so I'm just kind of getting like, do you feel it or do you not feel it? Not sure she feels a connection, but she definitely feels awkward. I don't know. I think you do know, Chloe, but we can't tell because your forehead don't move. Have you ever had a threesome? Wow, do one, Chris. This geezer's feeling lucky. I've never done that double entry. Her mum will be so proud. My line is there, but I've been with. <laughs> Glad that you've not. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. This ginger helps with your hangover, so. Thank you. I dare you to eat the fucking whole bowl. Eat that one. That's not all you of it. Done me here. There you go. She's got more ginger in her mouth than Meghan Markle on her wedding night. Ugh. <laughs> To prove nothing to you, you'll <laughs> yeah. I'll eat that now. Pass it over here, I'll eat it. Right there, go on. <laughs> in. No problem. Oh, I feel sick. Did he eat your food or it just come out of your mouth? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what he did, Chloe. But you've never been more attracted to someone, yeah? <laughs> oh, Chris, you are trying too hard here, mate. What's on that? I don't know. What else you had in your mouth this week, Liv? <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. My, like, go-to move is, like, you know when you're on a date, you're meant to laugh with your boobs. Laugh with your boobs? Yeah, just a thing. Is it? How do you laugh with your yeah, boobs? It's a thing, yeah. So basically, you have to be like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah, it is a thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that literally just to get them to go eat? Yeah. So it's two fish in a tank. The other turns and looks to the other one and says, do you know how to drive this thing? I don't get it. Yeah, her boobs didn't move once. I was checking them just to see if the joke worked, <laughs> obviously. They're in a tank. A tank. Oh, shut the front door. <laughs> she didn't bite at my safe material. If the agents want me to have fun, I'm going to have to turn it up a notch. Oh, no, what has he got planned now? Two frogs in a plane? Is this shellfish? I'm getting... I'm... I shouldn't be eating this. Okay. I'm allergic to this. What is he doing? <laughs> Oh, is everything? Is everything all right? Yeah. Got a crumb? Oh, God, he's got the waiter involved now, too. <coughs> yeah, cos if you ain't got the EpiPen, a sip of water should do it. I don't like this. I don't like when people die I'm joking, this. I'm joking, I'm not really. I'm not emotionally stable for that. I used to think, you know, I used to go round those and that all the time you and used everything. Used to what? Finger? Used... No, what? I no. what you just said, <laughs> I No, I didn't used to think you died at age.
I never thought I'd say it, but I think I preferred his anaphylactic shock jokes. Jesus Christ. That's, what you have That's a bit weird, isn't it? That's a bit creepy. You don't want to see that. No, I used to go round hers. I used to go round right. hers and I used to sit there and like watch films and that at the age of like ten. What do you look for in a woman? Like what what features do you like? I love fake boobs. And talking crap has resumed. Oh. Like love. Shape, symmetry, the lot. Symmetry. Just the really? way they sit, yeah, yeah. Just the way they sit. Just like a big fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um Did he just get away with saying that? Symmetry. Any of your ex-girlfriends have fake boobs? No. Itty bitty titty committee. Oh. <laughs> so I think I feel really excited. I've got good chat lines. I'm all for a good chat up line. Come on, son, make Loza proud. My casual yeah. one is like, I'll get my phone out, get my new car. I've lost my number. Can I have yours? No, I'll do, can you fill out this questionnaire for me and then bring up the, like, the new contact screen? <laughs> so it's got name, last name, number. What are yours? What about, are you from Tennessee? Only this is like watching a sexy catchphrase. Have you heard there's only eight planets left? No. That's because NASA has announced that I destroyed Uranus. You know, humans share 90% of the same DNA as a carrot. Of course they do. Did you know, if you bite your finger like you bite a carrot, you can bite it off? Are you serious? Try it. Right down like that. Are these two meant to be out this late? Do you want to feed me this last bit? <laughs> yes, Aislinn, you're in here, Amy. All right, I'll just go this. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, her sexy needs a bit of work here. You need to come forward, oh, yeah. my arms are really short. It's like she's feeding a toddler. <laughs> oh, fuck, <laughs> You need to knock my tooth out, then. I'll, I'll feed myself the rest. I really, 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 really am interested in how you Dance. She asking me to dance. Oh, I'm asking you to dance. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that squeaking is his shoes or my sphincter contorting with embarrassment. Oh my gosh. What? He's a big. <laughs> is that? A load of slimy oysters. You ordered them, Kraski. Nothing moved. <laughs> it's all still there. What happened? No, I'm not using my tongue there. Jesus Christ, that's a bit of a beat, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, come on, mate. My name watches this. Do you have any expectation for today? Perhaps I can find a moment that's appropriate to... To what? ..to kiss you. All right, could have been worse, but at least wait for her to finish her breadstick. And what do you do now? So I work in property. In property. And I also design clothing. OK. Is, it, is this one of yours? Yeah. It's a ravishing number, but eyes up, Alec. Am I allowed to get in there? <laughs> Excuse me, well, come on through. I have one color tattoo and I'll never get another one. It's it's like next to my penis. What is it, the instructions? Does anyone do any animal impressions? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't do any animal impressions. Do you? <laughs> what is that? Apparently, the most painful way to die is burning. What is she doing? Because you've got to wait for your whole body to burn and then you lose all the oxygen and then you're gasping and then you're like... <laughs> And then you die. Yeah. That's awful. Oh. <gasps> I would not want to be burnt alive. Looks like the boys are considering it, to be fair.